Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited that I made it to 2022 and I'm super excited to see you all make it to 2022 also. So it's a big dream and a big testimony, you know. We are not better than some people who are in the mortuary who are dead, but I'm so happy that God mercy brought us to 2022. So I'm super super excited and I just want to appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart. I want to say thank you so, so much. So, so today's video, it's a demand video. So some of my followers want to know how I got booked at It Bulaga. So in case you don't know, It Bulaga is one of the oldest and biggest TV show here in the Philippines. And if you, if you ever make it to that stage, uh, it's God grace and it means you've actually accomplished something meaningful why did I say something meaningful you know as a model I always dreamt to be at it Bulaga you know and since I came to this country I watched the show and I see a lot of models I know they actually get future on the show and in my head or in my mind I was like how can I ever get to this place? Four years ago, I was thinking about that and I was thinking that, oh, I could never make it because I don't know how to get there. I don't have connection. But anytime I watch it in my spirit, my spirit tells me one day you get there. So that's one of the biggest conviction I like about myself and I have about something, you know, and when I say it, yeah, it might not come today, it might not come tomorrow, it might take a time, or it might even happen, you know. That's why I said God's plan is the best, and His purpose on each and every one of us' life will manifest. It's just a matter of time, day, date, season, year. It's just the matter of time. It will surely come to pass, okay? So... Even at that, two years gone, I still have the vision that I was going to go to Ibn Bulaga. But it's taking time. But I still not give up. I still wished, you know. So last year, my um, talent manager, thank you, Mama Shane, in case you're seeing this video. So she reached out to me last year and she said she wants me to come for Ibn Bulaga. That was immediately after I went for a TV5 show. TV5, it's called Fill in the Bank. It's another TV show here in the Philippines. But for me, I think it's Bulaga is the biggest. Like people would know that, oh, you actually went to this show and it will get, get premiered on GMA, then now on YouTube. So I'm so happy that when she reached out to me the first time, I was super excited. And when I read through all the um, procedures you know let me tell you the truth there are things I cannot do for money and there are things I can do for money but the things in that place and I don't want to lie about it I don't want to lie about some things about myself just because I want to appear on a TV show and sometimes I say to myself what if people that really know me know that this is false this is lie you know that was the first project and i told her i'm so sorry i cannot join i felt bad when i declined the first offer that was last year i declined Ha! Huh? i was like oh had even i knew i would have taken it and i was regretting actually but the truth is after regretting i still had peace of mind because I don't know what would have happened to me. Maybe all those people that know me and trusted me would be like, so this girl, you lie, you know? I know some people lie to get something, but that lie was so huge. And knowing fully well that such thing doesn't exist. So I declined it and I waited for, throughout next year, nothing more came around. Nothing like it Bulaga. So this year, I was so excited December this December last year December. Oh my god. I forgot that I'm already in 2022 So last year December The same woman reached out to me because she, she's actually 
among one of the biggest talent managers here in the Philippines. Like she has a lot of connection about jobs for model and she also have her own modeling agency. So she reached out to me, she was like, Amaka, oh my god, I'm so happy for you. I know this one will be suitable for you. I was like, okay. So when I went through all the procedures, my spirit accepted that and I was so happy. Guys, you need to see me jumping. I was like, oh, I thought I would never come to this show again, even after declining the first one. So when I went through the procedure, I fill out all my information and they said they are going to call me. Ha! Ah! I was like, I hope these people will definitely call me because when someone said, I'll call you, huh, you just have to pray, especially if you're in the Philippines, you understand. So when she said she was going to call me, I was super excited about that. And she didn't call me throughout that day till midnight. She called. I was like, <gasps> she was like, yeah, it's me from Eat Bulag. I was like, oh my God, I was so excited about that. And she was like, um... I want to confirm some information about you. I was like, okay, go ahead. And I told her, and mm, there is one I did not allow them to say publicly, and that's my relationship. They wanted, they wanted if I, if they want me to say I have a boyfriend publicly or not. Yeah, I have a boyfriend, but it's not something I will. And if I have a boyfriend, I have to post this picture, and everybody's gonna see, it, you know. I told them please can you keep my relationship private they said okay fine when i told her that she haven't approved me yet because they have to confirm some things before they have to sit and you know they have to sit and conclude to know if they are picking me or not so when i told her that i don't want my relationship to be on air and i don't want people to know about my relationship she said okay i'm gonna get back to you and she ended the call ah <sighs> I was like, well, I, you know, the anxiety, you're just furious, you just want to go on this show. You want people to know that, oh, finally you've made it to this stage. I said, huh, should I accept that I, ha I can actually post this picture online so people are going to see. I was like, no, whatever happened is going to happen. If this job is actually for me, so be it, you know. And it's not up to one hour. She called me and said, see you tomorrow. <laughs> hope tomorrow will be okay for you i was like here yeah. oh my god guys i was just jumping like me on it's bulaga wow <laughs> you know that was the best feeling ever i was super super excited and when it happened there is this serenity there is this peace of mind that just uh, passed through me and i was smiling throughout the that night it happened stroke morning and i was thinking the show was going to be in the morning and it happened to be in the evening so i i woke up and i did some of my chores and now it's time to go there was no anchors there was no bike oh god i was like what have i done to myself and you know something these people have patience because they are actually waiting for me before they could start and i'm still far oh my god you know the last bike man i saw i had to go and meet him wherever he is because he was taking so much time i booked him that was 3 p.m and he came 4 30 that was like no i booked him 3 55 and he came after 40 minutes he said the traffic was huge huh <sighs> i was like what's all this i you know something I don't know how they operate maybe they are so strict i don't know at first before meeting some of them they are so nice but before meeting some of them i thought they are this kind of people that don't have patience i was so scared and if i had used grab i might even lose the shoe totally but i said okay let me go and meet the bike man and you know something guys she called me and asked me amaka are you okay how oh, god that was the best thing ever like she wanted to know how i was doing because she hasn't seen me i was like i'm coming um there was this traffic i was like what and you know it's if, if if it's festive period here in the philippines everybody's traveling the road is quite busy so imagine i left my house um 3 40 and i got there by seven how many hours to kenta it's so far 
and even as I go there, they gave me dinner to, to tell you how mm -hmm. nice they are. They give us dinner, they give us water, they allow us to take some minutes and dress up. And after the show, they still give us money and give. You want to know how much they give me? Go and ask them. <laughs> they give us money and they gave us dinner oh my god i was so excited it didn't stop at that they gave us gifts let me show you the gifts wait hold on i'm gonna show you the gift so the, the gift was massive but in my next video i'll be unboxing it's a lot i cannot carry them it's a lot so they gave us gifts a christmas gift and i'll be unboxing it okay with you all i'll be showing you the gift i received from ibulaga stroke my money so thank you so much for watching and keep safe bye bye in case you like my glowing skin i got it from what's her name juicy chick so this is a um a face and body oil it's a glow oil actually and i really love it you can see i'm not on makeup and i'm still pretty mm. so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe keep safe and god bless bye bye